What's up guys, Dan Hobbs here. It's Wednesday the 4th September and this is your Hard Reset Gaming Wrap Up News thing. It hasn't got a title yet, I don't know. But I'll be doing this every Wednesday, every Friday and you'll have the podcast on Monday. So three times a week we will catch you up with everything video games that there is to talk about. Because video games, yeah! Okay, first news story of the day. Killzone Mercenaries, the Vita spin-off of the Killzone franchise. Comes out in a couple of weeks. Maybe it's next week. Comes out soon. But the reviews all came out for today. Well, some of the reviews came out for it today. It's got from everywhere between a 5.5 and a 9 out of 10. So it's a bit of an iffy iffy target. A lot of people haven't posted their reviews yet purely because they haven't managed to play online that much, which means half the game is... or they can't review half the game, basically. But the most interesting thing to come out of the whole story is that there is a 1.2 gigabyte patch, day one, as an optimization for kills and mercenaries, which brings the total game up to five gigabytes. Which means, if you have a small, crappy four uh, gigabyte card in your Vita, you're screwed. You can't play the game whatsoever. Which you know it's a huge problem for Sony when they're trying to push a digital distribution platform, and they have really expensive cards. Second story is that we could have had heavy rain on the Xbox 360. Uh, David Cage was speaking at a BAFTA event in London yesterday, on Tuesday. And he said that he tried to pitch uh, the concept of heavy rain to Microsoft, and they decided to go against it because of the implications of child kidnapping. Um, for me, it was a very interesting signal, Cage said. It was like, you know what, I don't think we can work together. Because you don't understand what I want to achieve here. And that sounds a bit egotistical, but he's he's kind of right. Because Heavy Rain is a goddamn amazing piece of interactive entertainment. And obviously, Microsoft, as is evident with their lack of weird titles on their system, above and mount your friends, is uh, they don't want really want to take risks. And this is kind of evidence for that, is it not? Third story now, and it's a quick one. Nokia has been purchased by Microsoft, which means nothing really, because since the iPhone came out, nobody cares about Nokia, and nobody cares about the Windows phone, so nobody's going to care about a Nokia Windows phone, because they already exist, and then nobody buys them. So yeah. We're not going to get a new N-Gage either, so... <laughs> Fuck you guys. Fourth story, guys, and the last one for today, is that the Xbox One will support eight controllers, the PS4 will support four controllers. Everyone plays their games online, and if they're not, they're fighting games, and that's two people. And I mean, really, who needs eight controllers? The PS3 has seven controllers inputted in. Seven. You don't use them. Why Microsoft are going for eight? I don't know. Why Sony are going for four? Probably because nobody could use more than four. So there you go. The more you know. That's all the news, guys. If you want to keep updated... With all the video game latest news, you should click subscribe, you should like, you should leave a comment. You should also follow us on Twitter at HRDRST and like us on Facebook at Slash Hard Reset Fans. You can follow me on Twitter at DJ Hobbs because I post insightful things like what I have for breakfast. And that's about it. Come back Friday, I'll have another one of these. Me sat in my lovely chair with my, with my Angry Birds. And I'll give you more video game news. Job done.